Ready. All right, so you want to make a knife. You think you want to make a knife. You've seen Forged in Fire. It's awesome. Flames and loud noises and sharp stuff and dudes being dudes and everybody's nice to each other. And, you know, what do you, what do you need to think about? Most people just jump right into it. You got to stop just for a few minutes. And I'm just going to give you some advice from me as a person who grew up with a dad who taught me craftsmanship. And no, does that mean you can't do it? No. If you have some inclination to do it, these are a few things you want to step back and think about before you spend all the money. So can you make a knife? Do you have the skill to make a knife? If you're somebody that is less than graceful, say you can't walk across the room without falling down and busting your head open, you might want to think about not picking up saws and tools and stuff like that. Do you have a friend who's got a band saw that can cut you out a knife blank? Talk to that guy. Hey, man, I want to make a knife. You know, can you cut me out this thing? You know, network. There's a lot of networking that goes in. I'm going to scratch this thing on my face. There's an animal on me. So what I'm hearing is you don't even have to buy a lot of stuff first as a beginner. You Absolutely can borrow not. things. No, no. So they've seen Forge and Fire. They see there's grinders. There's. It can be intimidating, right? All yeah. these big, huge. I mean, if you want to set up a Forge and Fire style shop, Go ahead and set out fifty thousand dollars. Start there. You know, six grand. So for tip number everything. one would be go to a friend or someone that has the step one. Pick a steel. Don't go S thirty V steel and some super hyper crazy, the greatest steel you've ever seen on the most expensive knife. Don't do that because it's so hard to heat treat that. Get a simple heat treat steel high carbon steel stainless steels take higher temperatures they really require a subcritical like negative 200 degree quenches most people have no way to do that properly yeah can you look on youtube and get a video on how to make your own stuff out of dry ice and alcohol no don't do that either because it's not exact temperatures okay pick a good steel what do they need to good do next steel high carbon steel good steels to start out with my favorite in the world 1084 easy 1075 easy 1095 you can get more out of 1084 i don't know why 1084 gets this rap as oh, it's an old school style steel but i will put up a 1084 blade against any blade any day anyway 01 tool steel you can buy that at a lot of tool supply places you know you can get that off the shelf all these you can find on amazon get you a 12 inch piece of steel start out with 3 16 steel that way you don't have to grind the piss out of it and waste a bunch of stock quarter inch is probably a little too thick for most knives that most people want to stay want to make you know start out with some 3 16 steel it'll be cheaper to buy it that way inch and a half by 12 inches less than 20 dollars get you a piece of steel call your buddy say hey yo joe you got a freaking bandsaw Cut this shape out. Draw something that looks like a knife. Be careful not to do anything that's got really short handles. A lot of people initially will do a super, super short handle. And it might look cool on paper, but go for around four inches at a minimum. So that, can they just search online examples of templates and things like that? There if they've are never so done many knife makers out there that just do free templates, knife templates. Some people... They want to be stingy with their designs. Look, we've been making knives since we were freaking running around chucking spears at each other in breech claws and mammoth elements or elements. Yeah, elephants, big nose. Mammoth elephants. Wait, a mammoth is an elephant. Anyway, killing stuff back in breech cloth days. So you're not going to change the world by keeping your own freaking knife designs. Share. I'll share with you. I'll send you some freaking templates and designs. That's how I got started. I, I found some templates that my eye said, man, that's neat. Go to Bass Pro Shop. Go to Cabela's. Go to Walmart. Go places that have knives and go, I like that knife. Pick up the knife, take a picture of it, and trace it off your freaking phone. Say I haven't done it. Okay, so they've taped, they've drawn what they want to make. They have the steel. Now what do they need to do? You can use an angle grinder and cut it out if you really want to. Angle grinders are cheap if you don't already have an angle grinder. Get you a cheap angle grinder from like a Harbor Freight or a Northern Tool. You can get one for 10 bucks. 
Don't throw a million dollars into this until you know if you have the skills to do it. Just because you didn't grow up like I did with tools in your hands and know how to do everything, doesn't mean you can't start. You, you may have been born and God gave you the gift to create anything and you didn't have anybody to show you. I know plenty of guys that didn't have that as a kid and they're awesome craftsmen. Just keep that in mind. You okay, know? so they've cut out their knife. They, they got their Harbor Freight grinder. You cut your knife shape out with your grinder. Get you a metal cutting disc and a grinding disc. Same store, Harbor Freight. Anywhere like that. Or borrow it so or you don't have to it. put the money Get a out. buddy who, if you don't have a buddy who, you can find somebody probably that can cut it out for you. But if you absolutely can't, say you live in an apartment, man, go on the freaking porch of your apartment and plug that grinder in in the middle of the night and wake up the neighbors. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> okay, do that. so you cut it out and all that, then what do you do? You want to draw on the shape of your knife. Like, look, this is just an older one that we've made a long time ago. It's hard to see the grind lines. Take a Sharpie marker. How do I not have a Sharpie on me? I always, oh, I do, look. It's not a Sharpie, I lied. It's a Milwaukee great marker. Take your steel, get your basic shape, and draw where you want to start your plunge line. Look, all you're gonna do is follow the shape of your edge up on the top of the knife. And don't judge this knife because it's one of my first ones and it's old, but I like it because it's sharp. And this looks like crap too. You know, and then draw a line down here. Take a file. I mean, all you really need is a file to get started. And you're gonna, you're just gonna take that file, like pretend this is a file, and you're gonna lay it on there and you're gonna start grinding at this angle. Oh, I almost forgot. You wanna find the center of your steel. Quick, easy, freaking way to find the center of your steel. We're gonna use this other stump as, a, as an example. Well, the one I'm sitting on. So look, lay your blade down flat, right? Say this is a drill bit. Drill bit the same thickness as your steel. 3 16 drill bit, uber freaking cheap. Lay the drill bit on the flat surface and do like this. See this? It's magic. How about that action? You just drew that it's on It's right down the center of your knife. I'll take mine and I'll color it all the way across like this, right? I'll just color it all the way. Don't go out and buy a $30 bottle of dye chem like all these other guys tell you to do. Get some Sharpies. Actually, don't. Get Milwaukee markers. They last a long time. There you go. So look, you get this whole thing black. So then when you take your drill bit, look, we got a pretend drill bit. Here it is. Sticks, because we live in the mountains. There's sticks. You'll take this drill bit and you'll lay it on here flat. I should be doing this in a shop, but we were outside and we like being outside. So, all right, look. Actually, the stick did it. It'll draw a line right down the center, but you're gonna do that on this edge side of the blade. So now you've got a center line and you're just gonna take your file and you're gonna grind and shape this until you get down to this center line right here on both sides. And you wanna leave 40,000, so what's that? The thickness of a dime. Keep this edge flat, the, the thickness of a dime. And, and you'll have that line and grind all the way down and flatten it out with just a file. If that's all you've got, get a file. I've seen dudes use a belt sander, you know? Use a belt sander. You can get a belt sander. Hell, you can buy a cheap belt sander at Walmart. I've seen it. Been so there. at this point, if they're feeling like they aren't going to be able to do any of these steps, they probably don't need to proceed in trying to be a knife maker or they need I'm to tell really you study. Throw it at the wall and see if it sticks. Try it. What, $2 for a file? $7 for some steel? You know, get the file. That'll really cut them out. Get an aggressive file. One that's got a, a thicker, coarser file. So yeah. they don't need heat treating in forges and... All of that right you at first? You don't have to have a forge at first. You know how you can heat treat? The very first knife you need to do, use a torch. Get you a torch, enough to get your metal up to red hot. And get a magnet from your wife's refrigerator. If you don't have a wife, get one. It's the best thing in the world you can ever do, have a wife, if you're a dude. Um, get a magnet. When steel gets to a certain temperature, you touch the magnet to the side of the steel. And when that, that's called non-magnetic. If you use a simple steel like 1075, 1084, non-magnetic is what we call critical temperature. There's some more fancy terms you'll see out there. Screw that. If the magnet won't stick to the edge anymore, and just heat it up until this much, just 
I mean, just that part of the edge is red hot. You don't need to harden all this extra crap. Get it hot with a torch. You can look at a million other videos on how to do it with a torch. If you don't have one, you can borrow a torch from a guy. If you really have money to throw away, you can send this thing to somebody to heat treat your knife for you. It's probably not cost effective, but hell, you can do it. Just to try it yeah, out. Yeah, get a torch. Try it. See what, what happens. What about handles? Handles are easy. Wood. There's wood everywhere. Look behind me. There's a mountain full of wood. So, to the beginning knife maker. You know what? I'm going to tell you a secret that you need to know. Go to Lowe's, Home Depot, some of you guys in other region, Menards. Go to the flooring department and find some cool looking wood flooring samples. They're a freaking dollar. They're already dried. They're beautiful pieces of wood. Cut them out. The shape of your handle that you choose. Epoxy them. Drill a couple of holes. You know, you need to drill. Honestly, your first knife, if you don't want to put pins in it, don't put pins in it. You, you can, can use a freaking coat off. hanger. You can use a coat hanger for pins. It works. It's your first knife. You know, you're trying to do all this for under $10. Use a coat hanger. Do you have any other advice for somebody just starting out? Buy sandpaper too. Buy good sand. You can buy those little sandpaper kits at Walmart. Get up to at least 400 grit. You can take that same file that you filed all this down with and you can wrap the sandpaper over the file so you got a good flat surface and you just start working it down. Start with like a 36 or a 40 grit. 40 grit, 80 grit, 120. Heat treat it with your torch. If you happen to have a forge, you can watch enough videos to figure out how to get the temperature. You know, you're looking around 1600 degrees, 1550, 1650, depends on what steel you choose. Get it orange, It'll look like a salmon, you know, like the fish. Cooked <laughs> salmon, I think. No, probably uncooked, because pink's not really a knife color. Anyway, sorry, the baby's over here playing with trees, so we're making sure she's not like rolling down the hill or something. There she is. Lumberjacking it up over there. <laughs> well, we feel really blessed to have the opportunity just to be here around our, our kids all the time. It's awesome. Yep. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to do the same thing. Right? So wrap your sandpapers around. Keep the same shape. Get it up to 120. Heat it with a torch. Magic. That's a torch noise. Could a beginner knife maker just use a cord for a handle? Yeah, man. I'm going by me being a novice and seeing these things they do on Forged or Fire. That's a great idea. Paracord. I was in a Marine Corps. I know a hell of a lot about Would you say that would be the easiest way to start yeah, Your absolutely. That's a good point. Paracord would be great. You can buy it at Walmart. You can be a Walmartian and make your whole knife except for your steel. You can get epoxy. Get a good five minute epoxy if you're doing wood handles. If you can, pop some holes in there. Drill it through the flooring from Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, wherever you can get flooring samples. Great looking stuff. You can buy the stain at Walmart if you want to stain the wood. You can buy the polyurethane if you want to do it all this stuff paste wax is super simple we need to call this video the walmart knife you can make <laughs> a damn nice knife you got a good steel this is a 1084 knife and i promise you i can stick it through the door on my f-150 and shave my face with it after that it's because <laughs> you can heat treat it easy don't mess around with cheap stuff your first time out got a lot of buddies who've asked me man how'd you get into this you know, I tried it. My wife knows I bought a bunch of cheap stuff, made my own tools to see if I was going to be decent. I don't know if I even liked it. Keep it super simple. Buy the cheap stuff. Make it easy. Sandpaper, shape it. Then go up from there. Hey, if you're awesome at it, hey, buy more stuff. Start simple. You don't have to be an expert, master metallurgist, welder, super craftsman boy. To make a knife it's a lot of fun it's a great way to be at home with your family and do a hobby people say you gotta have hobbies my hobby is my wife and kids all right and when she's doing something and she's a little busy i pop out the shop for a little while you know i'm not running around with a bunch of other idiot retard mongoloids at the bar <laughs> i did that when i was in a marine corps because i was four years old and stupid <laughs> grow the hell up and get a manly hobby do something Quit shaving your arms, be a man, make a knife for 10 bucks. They can go to Bass Pro Shop and get a really cheap 
holster. Oh yeah, that's how we started. Bass Until Pro you Shops. learn Got how to make one. Redhead brand holsters. They're like six and seven dollars, and they're great. I wish I had one on me. Got a million of them in the shop, but look, you can pop those things in the oven at 200 degrees, and you'll stick the knife in it and do like I used to do, and just squish it around. I sold 30, 40 knives with those. She, I cut the redhead thing off the front. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm not redheaded. Look. Brown yeah. So if anybody that. has any questions, any people want to get into knife making, just comment down below. Any videos you might want to see. Yeah, we're helpful people. You know, we may not be social people, but we're helpful people. <laughs> nice, helpful, sharp thing making people. Bye. Bye.